Hello, I'm John Ombler from the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority. I'm joined today by Anthony Goff, and uh, we're uh, alongside the terrace development of Anthony's, beside the terraces development on the uh, Avon River, which is uh, led by Sarah. And Anthony, it's fantastic to see the progress going on the, the building behind us. It's all happening, isn't it? You can see we've got three concrete trucks backed one after the other, pouring concrete. We're filling those columns at the moment, yeah. if you wonder. The banging you can hear, that's the, we're putting down artesian bores. That's yeah. my fourth well going down now, yeah. where we're going to do heating and cooling, artesian heating and cooling. And then it's also backup water supply for firefighting. Fantastic. So we'll have dual water supply yeah. on the side. And this, um, this whole rebuild of the central city um, isn't without challenge, is it? Everything's a challenge. But that, that's, that's what keeps us young. And you've just got to keep forward and say, there's always a solution. And here's the solution yes. happening now. And there's lots of activity right throughout the retail precinct now. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Give it another 18 months. By the end of 2016, we're going to have a, a brand new centre city retail yeah. precinct. It'll be, um, it'll be very special for people who visit it. And I was thinking, the other day I went for a walk from, from the hospital down through the Avon as far as Manchester Street. And I was thinking as I finished it and thinking about what it's going to look like that it won't be something that people just do, it'll be something that people come here to do. Correct. What do yes. you think? I think it will be. It's going to be really exciting. Where do you ever get the chance of rebuilding a brand new centre city yes. with a population base of a third yeah. of a million existing around it? So, so, so for somebody who's, who's um, watching this and thinking about the, the opportunity to come and uh, walk down the Avon in 18 months time, to pick what you're saying, um, what, what can they expect in front of your place? Well, we'll have two stories of bars and restaurants yeah. that will be spilling out on the footpath with tables and chairs like yeah. it used to be before. But separately, we've got inside a big piazza, a big courtyard yeah. that everything faces onto. That also is going to have bars and restaurants. Yeah. So the whole of the terrace precinct is two-story hospitality and then yeah. offices above. And, and so during the day, people will be calling in to have cups of coffee, not only at your place, but other places all the way down through the Avon. Yep. And at night, the bars will be operating? Yes, so we'll be running. We're expecting to run till three in the morning with yeah. the bars and restaurants. We've got a big car park building going up just behind us. So that's really a good thing for the area yes. because car parking is critical to what happens. Everyone says, oh, it's so hard to find a car park. It will get better, everyone. Right, me, and, and, we're not, better. and we're not too far from the bus interchange either. No, no, right. it's great. And the tram goes past the front. It does, it goes right by our front door. Yes, it's sort of so there's no excuses. No, none whatsoever. Right. And wonderful walking ability. Yes. This will be the city of, of pedestrians. Fantastic. Yes. We're also providing cycle parks and everything else. Yes. So it's, it's trying to cater to everyone. Yeah. And that's very important. You mustn't select and you say, oh, we'll only look after bikes, or only yes. look after buses, or only look after cars. We're trying to look after everyone. Now, now where, where your terrace development meets the, the Serra Terraces development on the, on the river, can you talk a little bit about how the two work together and how your experience of that is, is well, at the moment? Absolutely fantastic. We've, the, the terrace has been done by Sarah and the government is going to have these fantastic granite pavers yeah. and it's stepped all the way down to the river's edge with nice planters to catch the water and filter it before it all flows into the river. Yeah. But additional to that, we're going to run the same granite pavers right into our, all our laneways and, and piazza so the whole thing will marry together and it will look as all as one. Fantastic result. Yeah. Obviously very expensive to use granite pavers, yes. but we're looking for quality, we're not looking for the cheap and nasty. Yeah. Well, that, people might almost think we've been talking to one another. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. Well look, all the best with, um, with your development and I'm sure that the people who are watching this will be looking forward to that opportunity to walk down the Avon, call in for a cup of coffee, uh, or if it's a bit later in the day, um, a drink or two and it should be fantastic. Well, the, the good thing is that what you see standing behind us, we'll actually have that up and running with bars and food and re restaurants operating by February, March 2016. That's right. not that far away. So that will be up and running then. Yes, that's fantastic. That's six months it, from That's six months today. and and for the rest of the retail precinct, there will be a lot more done by then too, but yes. it will take a while still. 18 months, yes. and then you're going to see most of the retail precinct done. So it's okay. actually ready to get legs now, yeah. it's happening here. Tremendous. Thank you very much for joining Lovely. us today, and I'm sure that the people who are watching this will, will find it um, interesting and, and exciting as well. Great. Thank Great. you very much, Good. John. And also, um, at the moment, you would have heard recently um, some announcements about the uh, Metro Sports facility. The government has approved funding to add to funding from the uh, Christchurch City Council to be able to build the Metro Sports, which also isn't far from here. Um, really exciting, catered both for 
uh, high performance sports and for families, whole range of facilities uh, for swimmers, for netballers, for all sorts of other activities. Just wonderful, which adds to this mix that we've been, we've been talking about. And you'll be able to find out about some of these things, the sort of stories we've been talking about in the future Christchurch update, which will be delivered into mailboxes this weekend. Thank you for joining us.